Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Arma 3 video. In this video, we'll be covering 10 of the best quality of life improvement mods released thus far in 2023. These modders continue to pour that sweet, sweet life blood into Arma 3, pushing out its longevity, and at this point, I'm pretty sure this game is fucking immortal. If you like this kind of content, send a saber around through that like and subscribe button and stick around for more because I have a library chock full of mod lists, lore, vehicles and weapon showcases, and so much more packed neatly into playlists for easy access. With that, let's get right into the mods. At number 10 is AI Cannot See Small Drones by Claudio Pelez. Just when I think the modding community has figured it all out, someone turns around and drops a mod that makes me reconsider everything. This mod does exactly what its name suggests. Are you tired of having your drone aim botted out of the sky before it can be of any use to your squad during operations? Then get this mod. Now your drone can fly safely over enemy forces and not be kneecapped the second it's within 2 kilometers. The engagement radius has been brought down to about 80 meters or so, so as long as you're that far away from the enemy, they won't see the drone. Now any closer and they'll notice it and start sending it to Drone Jesus, so be aware that your drone can still be engaged. You just have to stay outside of the AI's engagement zone. This makes drones a hell of a lot more viable in both single player and multiplayer. At number 9 is Rebalanced F15 by Orbis2358. We have yet another banger from Orbis's workbench. This edition of Rebalanced includes multiple quality of life improvements for Firewheel's F15. For starters, and this is common across all of his Rebalanced mods, the flight profile and handling characteristics have been updated to be much more reflective of their real life values and it's really noticeable if you've been flying Firewheel's aircraft for a while. Additionally, your external tank fuel quantity is now highlighted in the upper left vehicle details showing you when you're good to pop your tanks when no longer needed. The HUD has been improved as well to show knots and feet instead of KPH and meters. And finally, the afterburners now ignite when the throttle is pushed past 90% or mill power, which is a much better option than using the scroll wheel. If you're an Arma 3 aviator and love the F-15, then this is an absolute must-have that will never leave your mod list. At number 8, we got Ladder Tweak Remastered by Polpox. Now with this mod, Polpox is definitely in the running of getting kissed directly on the mouth because my god, going up and down ladders in Arma 3 is a damn chore and I think I get shot more often than not because of how long it takes. Now you can haul ass up the ladders and get where you need to go faster. And if that wasn't enough, he even gave us a scroll wheel option to slide down the ladder, a feature I'm surprised hasn't become baked into the game itself. Thank you Polpox for saving us those precious seconds, especially during engagements. At number 7 is Tracer Fires by Thomas Angel. This is one for the pyromaniacs out there. Tracer fires are a real thing and can be caused by negligent use of tracer munitions during dry seasons. This mod was born out of that reality and now you have the chance to cause small or even larger dangerous fires by shooting tracers into grass and foliage. The mod takes into account the weather and environment, so if it's raining or had just rained, then the tracers won't ignite anything. However, dry environments such as much of Altus and Stratus will definitely catch fire when shot. The settings are completely adjustable in the options, and the impact on performance is very minimal. It should be noted though that it will probably act a little weird in multiplayer servers as desync can cause small fires to form out of nowhere. At number 6 we've got Winter Footsteps by M5. One of those sound mods you didn't think you even needed, this mod works with snowy modded terrains like Winter Trenaris, Vita, and a bunch of others listed on his mod page. This is truly a magical sound that will probably be used in a bunch of Milsim ASMR videos if I had to guess. I mean, listen to the satisfying crunch. Oh yeah, that's good shit right there, baby. At number 5 is Chem Light Weight Reduction by Winza. This is one of those duh moments, like wh why can I only hold 6 Chem Lights when they definitely come in packs of like 30 and weigh maybe a pound per box? 
Definitely a simple mod made for those players that love spamming these beautiful little bastards everywhere. I don't do a lot of ground missions at night personally, but I'm always happy to see when chem lights are used in missions and scenarios because that lighting really helps sell the tactical feel even if we don't throw them around everywhere. Winza is quickly becoming another favorite mod maker of mine and you definitely need to hit his workshop and see all of the great mods he's throwing out there. At number four, we've got Combat Drones Expansion by Norexus. This mod allows you to attach a thrown hand grenade to a darter UAV and then fly it up to altitude and drop the grenade. This mod was directly influenced by the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine and all the drone footage that has come out of it. Now you can try and aim grenades down tank hatches or simply harass enemy positions silently while overhead. This mod pairs extremely well with the AI Cannot See Drones mod from earlier in this list. At number three is JCA Modular Carrier Remake Project by Grave. This mod is a complete makeover of some of my favorite infantry gear from Bohemia, the Modular Carrier, which was added with the Contact DLC. These assets in this mod were built from the ground up by Grave over the course of a month to be as close as 1-1 to the actual vests made by Bohemia. These are 100% his own build, and as a result, do not require the actual DLC to be downloaded and used, though you should still own the Contact DLC because it's super unique and it fucking rocks hard. Out of the box, this mod ships with six new carrier variants, ranging from CQB style to a frontline tactical style, and also comes with nine different camo patterns to choose from that all work beautifully in terrains made by both Bohemia and the mod makers. I won't lie, this mod probably isn't leaving my personal favorite mod list anytime soon. At number two, we've got Arma 3 Characters 4K by Jovie Cherry. Out of nowhere, this guy shows up and enhances all of the Arma 3 characters and upscales them to 4K. This is a huge improvement for the screenshot creator community who make a ton of amazing shots. I don't know if I've seen any of the new screenshots using this new feature, so hopefully someone will start dropping some of those. I can say that the characters looked really good in-game though. I was never in the mindset of needing higher fidelity character faces, as I primarily take screenshots of vehicles in action. But this is a definite benefit to the entire Arma 3 community. And finally, at number one is Photon Visual Effects by Winza. For those players that don't necessarily want all the extra particles that Blastcore and Arma FXP throw around, Photon VFX is that perfect middle ground. It simply overhauls a bit of the lighting from the vanilla explosions, adds some shrapnel spark effects, and also adds a bit of blast refraction. It should be noted that this mod should not be run concurrently with other mods that add blast refraction, such as Real Engine. Additionally, tracer brightness, size, and color have also been given a small facelift, all of which has minimal impact on game performance and FPS. This mod really shines at low light and night operations where the increased explosion brightness can really be seen. Well guys, that does it for this video. I hope you found some new mods to enjoy and add just a little more enjoyment in your Arma 3 playthroughs. As always, I'd like to give a shout out to these fucking legends on your screen right now. These guys are helping me keep my Arma 3 server, TeamSpeak, and Discord alive and are just overall chads in their own right. And of course, I'd like to thank you, the viewer, for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. The Arma 3 modding scene gets better every single day and it's almost like Christmas, opening up the workshop after a couple of days and seeing what kind of banger shit the modding community is throwing out there next. Thank you all again for watching and I will see you in the next video.